จยังอยู่มิตตันเอาให้จบว่านะเสือกทำเสือกเงินสร้างสวยไปเรียนนี่เป็นห้องเรียนละกันก็คือแค่ห้องแค่ห้องเรียนเพราะฉะนั้นตามหลักการจริงๆ Now that's easy listening The sound of two point counting on two point radio Ricky h o l f o r d waxing the waves lyrically and literally mm. on Two Point Radio. Why don't you listen to this next track, and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. มาอ่ะทำไมมันเอาให้คนมากกว่านี้ไม่ได้อ่ะ
Zoo. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? Tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless. We've got breaking news for you on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Grockle Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's been reported that they're not under any immediate danger and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release. If it's not on your CB, it didn't happen. Not to me. Sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. talking on campus. Thank you.
sometimes I get asked what I would have done had I not gone into the disc jockeying trade. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I pine for a life of international intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper, and I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Staff are reminded to care about students. At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute, sip of milk, leg rooms, dental surgeries, additional headrest, Ooh. and our famous data system analysis training program system, or FDAP staffs. I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here. expanding even more than usual.
has opened a new building. Good for us. Students are reminded to find themselves. And we've got an update for you on the story of the zoo worker that fell into the gibbon enclosure. We're now hearing that the employee is rising through the gibbon's social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Little smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic.
are joined by Professor Hamish Curlybags of the Pebbly Frog Sanctuary, who tells me gibbons are nothing like an amphibious cat. What's going on, Hamish? That's right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Apes, you say? Well, I never. Thanks for joining us, Professor. There's nothing I like more than being corrected on air. Staff are reminded to be inspirational. ที่ทันเหลือเกินIt's time for Chef Ricky's morsel of the day. You can buy breadcrumbs from any self-respecting supermarket or interweb parlor replacement service, but there's something to be said for doing it the old-fashioned way, by throwing the loaf against a brick wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy, is it worth it. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. Hey. Now taking students for general knowledge.
Oh. Breaking news and a surprise twist from the gibbon enclosure. The zoo worker, first thought lost to the diminutive apes, has become their leader. They claim to have learned to love the gibbons, their way of life, and their disproportionately lengthy arms. So, instead of going to work in the zoo every day, they'll just be living there, I suppose. That's one way to skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Good night. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Project. Well done.
please drink some water. Thank you. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Cheers, cheers! On Two Point Radio, forget what you're doing and give in to the saccharine melodies of my voice. I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, and you may not know it, but you've just made a wonderful decision. The finest radio show in town, coming right up. Janitor required in bathroom. Thank you. 
grades are reminded that some grades are personal. On Sir Nigel Reviews, we'll be talking about a modern beat combo, a group that call themselves the Helium Baboons. I must admit, while it may not be my usual cup of beef tea, for contemporary mindlessness, and that's what this is, it was not as bad as most of today's dirge and drivel. Helium Baboons, not as bad as I feared they would be. Two shrugs out of a possible five. Students are reminded to set reminders. Oh, oh no. Time for Spill the Tea, where we take some finely dried hearsay from our shameless county and strain it for all the precious nectar we can. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge is under scrutiny for describing Two Points youth as ambitionless nitwits, and I can see why. I can only hope that it's an abridged form of the full quotation. It would be remiss of him to forget that they are also loud, foolhardy, Cress, smelly, and generally hopeless. <laughs> Students are reminded to be in two places at once.
The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. Questions? No, I've not seen your frog. Mm -hmm. from Smell My Cash. Being a student is hard enough. <laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell My Cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. The academic year is now over. Yay. Results published now.
now for the results of last week's sonnet writing competition. I must say I was appalled, if not surprised. They were lacking structure, they were lacking soul. Some of you wouldn't know an I am from a dactyl. We'll be rolling the competition on to next week, so send in your sonnets. They can't get any worse. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. It's not your year, it's just another year. Respect for those that choose chivalric and knightly pursuits. Well, it's really very large. The Bickleworths, after all, come from a rich and prestigious line of people on and near horses. That being said, feudal aristocracy used their hands far too much for my liking. The swordsmanship, the adventuring. Have you ever held a lance? It's a chore. If you're so important, why are you doing all that work? Rule smarter, not harder. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework.
client here. that Agatha Sphere and the Orb Foundation are targeting the county's colleges in an attempt to appeal to a younger demographic. Those orb-happy loons must be subdued at all cost. But wasting their time trying to brainwash our brainless students seems like a terrific diversion. I'm so glad we found a use for our horde of unwashed undergraduates. And now for the segment we call Agony Answers. You provide the agony and I'll provide the answers. This week's problem is from Helpless in Hogsport. I'm stuck in my bathroom. I think the doorknob fell off. What should I do? Well, I'd start by contacting someone under less anonymous circumstances. Perhaps a friend or the local authorities. 
Best of luck and so on. Students are reminded that some birds are personal.
frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Results have been released. Luck won't help you now. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. Pop, you talk about. Now that's easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio, the place your ears call home. We've got a barnstorming show for you today. But before we kick down the door and go straight for the valuables, soak in some sonic excellence. Play that track and we'll be right back. Welcome to the start of a new year. I'll be your host. Hello. Hey, here, happy family. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. In the news today, I seem to have sat on something sharp. 
We're not sure exactly what it is or what the consequences might be, but we'll update you as soon as we know more. Can you see it? Look at that. Is it in me? Tell me it's not in me. I'd sat at a sprig of holly from yesterday's lunch. That's the risk you're on when adding a little pizzazz to your meal. But that won't stop me. It's not the first piece of holly I've sat on, and it certainly won't be the last.
students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Nowhere. <laughs> cheesy gubbins. <laughs> the only thing you can count on. Students are reminded that I'm not your mom.
Two Point Radio, the station that puts the stabilizers on the bike of your day. It's Ricky Hawthorne. The time is... I don't got the time? No? They told me I'd regret putting sundials in the booth. There aren't even any windows, they said. Oh, how we laughed. More Timeless Radio, after this silky little number. Students are asked not to ask questions. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry.
คไว้ต่อวิดีโอหน้าแค่นี้แหละ